Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up and calibrate the TPS Aqua CPA Conductivity TDS pH and Temperature Meter. Features of this meter include the large 24 character alphanumeric display, below the screen are five easy to navigate buttons, these are Cal, this is used to calibrate all parameters, as well as select buffers for automatic buffer recognition setup. Mode, this switches between conductivity, TDS, salinity, pH and temperature display. Up and down selector keys, these are keys used to move through the setup selections. And the on off key powers the unit on or off and is used to invoke battery saver mode. The Aqua CPA comes with the required pH and conductivity probes. Automatic temperature compensation for all parameters is provided via a temperature sensor in the conductivity sensor. This means when taking pH measurements or calibrating pH, use both the pH and conductivity probe to ensure ATC. Mode selection. To select conductivity, TDS or salinity modes, press the mode key until COND and the up and down arrows display on the LCD. Then use the arrows to select between conductivity, TDS or salinity measuring mode. When your required measurement mode is on the screen, press mode again. If salinity or conductivity is selected, the device will return to measurement mode. If TDS is selected, you will need to choose the TDS conversion factor. As you can see on the screen, the current conversion factor is set to 0.64. To adjust, use the up and down selector keys. When set, press mode to confirm. Display combination selection. Following parameter combinations can be displayed. Press the mode key to select the desired combination of displayed parameters. These are parts per million and temperature, pH and temperature, temperature only, conductivity, salinity, TDS mode selection, conductivity, pH and temperature, and conductivity and temperature. If no conductivity probe is connected, manual temperature setting will be shown with an M on the display. The Aqua CPA is equipped with a battery saver function. If no button is pressed for 5 minutes, the unit will beep and flash the display for 20 seconds and then automatically turn off. This function can be disabled for continuous use. To do this, have the meter on. Press and hold the on off key for 3 seconds. The battery saver menu will display. Then use the up and down arrow keys to turn the battery saver function on or off. When your desired function is displayed, press mode to confirm your selection. For pH calibration, navigate to a display mode showing pH readout. To perform calibration with automatic temperature compensation, you'll need to use both the pH and conductivity probes. An asterisk in place of the decimal point indicates that the pH readout is not calibrated or that a pass calibration has failed. The asterisk will be removed once a full two-point calibration has been successfully performed. The Aqua CPA is factory set to recognise pH 4.01, pH 6.86 and pH 9.18 buffers automatically. If you prefer to use pH 7 instead of pH 6.86 and pH 10.01 instead of pH 9.18, you can adjust which buffers are automatically recognised. To do this, switch the meter off. Press and hold the Cal key while switching the meter back on. Release the Cal key when the message buffer 1 select is displayed on the LCD. On the first screen, use the up and down keys to switch between automatic buffer recognition of pH 7 or pH 6.86. When you decide buffer is on the display, press mode to confirm. On the next screen, use the up and down keys to switch between automatic buffer recognition of pH 4.01 and 9.18 or 4.01 and 10.0. When your selection is on the screen, press mode to confirm. The buffer recognition setting has been updated and saved. Time to calibrate the meter. For calibration, we have distilled water as well as pH 7 and pH 4.01 standard buffer solutions. To start, rinse the pH and conductivity sensors in distilled water. Then place both the sensors into a small sample of pH 7 buffer, ensuring that the bulb and reference junction are both covered. Wait for the reading to stabilise.
When the reading is stable, press the Cal key to calibrate. If you are in a combination display, you will be prompted to select the parameter for calibration, otherwise press no keys. The reading will display Cal, 1P, OK and the asymmetry. The first point of calibration is complete. Rinse both the sensors in distilled water, then place the sensors into the next buffer solution of pH 4.01 and wait for the reading to stabilise. When the reading is stabilised, press the Cal key to calibrate. Once the two-point calibration has been successfully performed, the Aqua CPA will display 2.4.01 Cal OK. Then it will display the asymmetry and slope before returning to measurement mode. pH calibration is complete. To achieve accurate conductivity, TDS and salinity results, the Aqua CPA requires calibration to an allowable conductivity standard. The allowable standards are 150 and 1413 microsiemens per centimetre and 2.76, 12.88 and 58 microsiemens per centimetre. The TDS and salinity values are derived from the conductivity reading and do not require a separate calibration. And as with pH calibration, an asterisk will appear in place of the decimal point when conductivity readout is not calibrated. This asterisk will be removed after successful calibration. Select a display mode with either a conductivity, TDS or salinity readout. Starting with zero calibration. A zero calibration should be performed at least monthly. In low conductivity applications where a zero error is particularly significant, a zero calibration may have to be performed weekly. Rinse a conductivity sensor in distilled water. Shake off as much water as possible and blot the outside of the sensor dry. Do not touch the sensor wires. After rinsing the sensor, leave it to air dry. When the reading is stabilised at or near zero, press the Cal key. Once zero calibration is successfully performed, the Aquas EPA will display the zero value of the sensor. Next is standard calibration. A standard calibration should be performed at least weekly. For this calibration, we are using 1413 microsiemens per centimetre standard solution. To start, immerse the probe into the standard solution. Ensure that the vent hole is immersed in the solution. Wait for the reading to stabilise. Then, when stable, press the Cal key to calibrate. The Aqua CPA will confirm the automatically recognised standard and then display the calculated K factor of the sensor before returning to measurement mode. Rinse the probe and conductivity calibration is now complete. And that's how to set up and calibrate the TPS Aqua CPA conductivity, TDS, pH and temperature meter. For more information on this multi-parameter meter, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.